Well, good evening, my Riveters. This is Robert Sacco here. I know it's been about a month since I posted an update, so I figured I'd let you know what's going on right now. Um, the layout, I have really not touched at all. Um, I'm working on some plans and getting my own space in the backyard for it, so I'm not going to go into details this year because I don't know what's going to go on yet or what's going to happen. So right now, the layout is somewhat on hold, but I'm still using run trains and play around and all that. But I have been very busy on doing a lot of repairs, a lot of projects, and get some things straightened up. So I'll turn the phone around, let you know what's going on, what's coming up, and so forth. So here we go. These cars right here on the tracks are what left I have to repair. Now most, 95% uh, 90, of these are just couplers. These are all, these, all these cars still have the plastic couplers on them. This one got to repair a ladder. This one I got to find parts. It's a Walther's Coil car. I got to find the parts for that so I can fix that. And look at that coupler broke off, but that was a plastic one too. So like I said, these all have the plastic coupler, plastic couplers that still need to be repaired. These ones are just finished in here. And I must have finished like maybe three, four other trays of freight cars going through them, checking them and all that. They're on the other side now. Um, I started working on my scratch building project on another CSX road slug. That's what that's for. This. I'm going to put the phone down just for a second. Hang on one minute. Alright, this is a Kato GP35 CSX. Started some detail work on it. Now, the story behind this bad boy. Uh, it was on a Facebook page. Someone posted Athen Blue Box locomotives for sale for $15 a piece. This was part of it. Seeing that road number on there, I know it was not an Athen. I thought it was a Cato, so I took a chance on bought it. So it was shipped and I paid about $20 bucks for it. Came in, sure enough, it is a Cato unit. It runs nice. I um, put a non sound decoder in there. Can I have a couple dead tracks of coders left over? So I put a non sound decoder in it just for right now so I can actually run it. And it runs really nice. Um, the only thing I was missing, the couple hand railings around were busted, so I got those. Uh, I actually got a parts engine coming. I'm going to use the hand railings off of that to fix this. But other than that, that's actually a really good runner. So I got that for 20 bucks. I just used the Athen box because I had this one laying around. Let's see. Close this back. All right. Here's another project I'm working on. Another GP30 uh, road slug. All the parts are in there. Just gotta get back to work on that. I picked all this up at a Zidnik train store swap meet this past Sunday. I got this. I picked up that. And these two. River Waterfall, brand new kit, and Rock Faces, brand new kit, all for five bucks for the whole lot. Didn't any more senior stuff, but I'm not gonna pass that up. These are next to be worked on. They still have, they have the couplers on already. I started weathering one of them. I made the dents a little too like raindroppy. Get a light. There we go. So. I learned this and move on to the next one. I can hide those eventually. So that's what I'm working on. Now to the workbench. <clears throat> As you see, I have an array of projects going on. I still got three more patch cars painting the CSX uh, business drink colors. That's one of those torn parts still there right now. This one right here is getting a slug treatment. I already started on it. This is going to be road number 1033, if I remember correctly. These are chopped like halfway down. I'm just going to buy, I'm going to just probably save the ends on them. Chop this one down, and I'll get some styrene and put it in the middle and add the doors in. So that I won't, won't be using that. This is my GP16 project I'm working on. This was a dummy I picked up at a train off a train show, too. It was really nice and detailed. I had all the detailed parts on already. I only paid 10 bucks as a dummy. So that's what I'm probably doing right now. I'm modifying this a little bit so I can make it to the uh, 
CSX Road Slug, or not CSX, I'm sorry, CSX uh, GP16. I haven't decided on the road number on it just yet. But that's a Pro 2000, sorry, that's a Pro 2000 cab I put on here. So I had it laying around, so it fits just fine. So I got, that's got a little some work to do. And I picked up, move this over to the side for a minute. I can see it, I already started painting, painting the bottom. Move that away, and we'll move this out of the way. I picked up an Atlas FP7 that had a different road number on it. It was only for 20 bucks. So it was running really nice. It had most of the detail parts on it already. It had the grab irons on it already. It run really nice. So I took all the boards off of that one. Now we'll get a Dakota treatment soon. This has already been painted into the gray color of CSX. I got done adding all the parts on here where it's supposed to be. I'll paint in blue probably this weekend. So, that's coming along. Yeah, so I have about more projects than I know to deal with right now. I sure as hell don't need more. And I still got the BQ project. I, got, I found a locomotive for uh, a donor for the mechanism, so I got that on the way too. So that'll get done too. That will get the CSX blue and gray treatment also. And that's about it. Okay, so this is what I've been working on most of my time. I got parts all over the place. But hey, that's what I do. So. So that's it. That's what I have going on. Um, at the end of this video, I will show some uh, some videos I took from the train club and some uh, still photos I took from my train club of my trains I've been running over there right now. And like I said, right here at home right now, nothing's really going on just yet until I figure out if I can make this work as far as getting me like a shed in the backyard to put a train room in there. My wife needs her own space in here for her crafts because her stuff makes money, mine doesn't. So I'm going to move it in the backyard and have my little uh, train cave if, if it works out. If not, it's going to stay in the garage until then. But that's it right now, guys. You all be safe out there. Have a train tested day. And um, don't forget to book those reservations for dinner now for Valentine's Day. Because uh, it'll get busy. One restaurant last year was a two and a half hour wait. And I'm like, nope. McDonald's it is by the water. <laughs> but good night, guys. Be safe out there. And catch you again soon. See ya.